There have been a lot of changes at this racetrack since Frank DeFrancis bought it five years ago. The name is new. It used to be Laurel Raceway, but much of the renovation work has been designed to retain tradition. The track's surface is modern. It all contributes to what DeFrancis believes is the greatest sport in the world. You know, years ago, I think all you had to do was put up a sign and say, Racing Today, and fans would flock to you because it was the only game in town. Today, you have a proliferation of events that the entertainment dollar can flow to, whether it be the casinos or the lotteries or the theater or the television or the baseball or football or what have you. So today it's incumbent upon racetracks in marketing the best product in the world because I think without question racing is the finest sport action in the world that it's incumbent upon racetrack owners and racetrack management to create their facility uh, with proper ambiance and proper fan comfort to attract the patron. Once you do that, once you get them to your racetrack, They'll never leave because we got the best sport in the world. Free State is a small track with good numbers, averaging nearly 600,000 in handle each night. DeFrancis thinks the Breeders' Crown is good news for small tracks like his. I think the, you know, I, I love slogans, but I only love slogans when they have real meaning. And the expression that it all comes down to the Breeders' Crown is a personification of the wonderful meat that we've had at Free State. We open our meat with a homecoming steaks annihilator and we're closing it with a breeder's crown and on the road again. Uh, you know, you've, and between that, we've had the Lady Baltimore and the Potomac and just great racing. Uh, so that truly the breeder's crown is, is, is the ultimate, uh, I think it's the excellent answer to the breeder's cup for the thoroughbreds. I think it goes one step forward, and that is to go ahead and by having each race at a number of tracks, you're able to bring the best to various sections of the country. And frankly, I think that's far better than just sectionalizing it at one track on one day. Well, Stan, uh, a lot of people are convinced that that man is a very important figure for both thoroughbred and standardbred racing in the state. There's no question. He's been a very tremendous unifying influence here for both sports, bringing the tracks together, bringing the horsemen together, and consequently, through that unity, getting very effective legislation for racing here in the state. He's a successful businessman, he's a skilled lawyer, and he's made a very eloquent and dynamic spokesman for the racing industry. Well,